Hello and welcome to Wake Up and Smell the Mic S&P 500 review for Thursday, April 13th, 2023. It's now 6 a.m. Central Time. We start off in the S&P 500 daily chart into Mark looking back to end of 2021. I'll zoom into the current area now. The S&P 500 daily chart has printed the combo and sequential cell setup 2 count. And to indicate that for end of day today on the 13th, there must be a close below 4105.02 for the price flip to the buy setup count one. Price in the pre-market hours for the S&P 500 at 6.02 a.m. is 40.96. So if that price holds for the open, the S&P 500 will open with the price flip to the buy setup count one. We have to give it the benefit of the doubt till end of day today, Thursday the 13th. This demand line was disqualified as predicted and price would have to open under this ongoing demand line and then close under this ongoing demand line to qualify it if it opens anywhere before it and then subsequently ends the day below it this ongoing demand line will become disqualified also and everything above current price will become qualified with closes above their levels ongoing supply line this ongoing supply line, the buy TDST level 2. And it looks like the cloud conversion line was fairly good support for yesterday on the 12th. And for this morning, it opens at 4083.24, so just about the same spot as yesterday. The NASDAQ 100 MDX high-low chart shows the 5 EMA in blue having a distinct rollover for sure headed right for the red 10 EMA and the index itself in dotted line here has went sideways for yesterday so it might halt We'll have to see if the REC 12 can get down to 0 plus or minus 5. It's at 17.98 and of course that would have to coincide with the blue going under the red 10 EMA and that would be a sell signal. And the NDX high low KSTs show the short term KST really taking a dive down. It's almost near zero, 48.5 positive. The intermediate term KST is starting to plane out a little bit, has a slight indication of pausing and maybe rolling over. And the long term KST has more of a pronounced indication for rolling over to the downside. So for right now the intermediate term KST and long term KST have the NDX high low index chart in check. And the NASDAQ composite high low index chart shows the 5 EMA in blue well above the red EMA 10 and blue is above the gold 21 EMA and the red 10 EMA is trying to get above it and really not much of a rollover the index itself and dotted is still headed straight up so we can see that there's a rotation from growth to value as we saw yesterday in the NYA to SPX ratio the REC 12 has a slight tick down rollover here and that's reflection of the indexes themselves so the NDX is in gold here 
and the NASDAQ composite comp Q is in black there and you can see they've separated quite nicely here so they're not running together anymore like this and the NASDAQ composites KSTs show the short term KST just now rolling over and going under its signal line well above zero intermediate term KST is still headed straight up long term KST is in a downward trajectory really no indication of rolling over up or down so again the intermediate term KST and long term KST has this NASDAQ composite high low index chart in check the New York high low chart which as we know is all inclusive so it includes the NDX and the NASDAQ composite high low indexes along with everything else and it's still looking mighty fine here blue 5 EMA above the red 10 EMA and both the 5 and the 10 are now above their 21 EMA in gold so that's a good sign and the rock 12 has absolutely zero indication of rolling over to the downside same thing as the other charts with the KSTs so the New York short term KST is just about to go under its signal line so it's slightly under its signal line and the intermediate term and long term KSTs have this one in check also the S&P 500 support and resistance levels big board chart shows the lone gray area at the pivot point and price in the pre-market hours for the S&P 500 at 6.37 a.m. Central Time is 40.97. So to the downside is the daily conversion line. Break through that and it takes a jump down to the daily horizontal support line S2. And that ongoing demand line and get out of the doldrums and start heading up first stop is this R1 level and then the daily ongoing supply line after that it takes a pretty good jump up to the couple of ongoing supply lines call it 4140 and volatility has really simmered down seven eight days Rock 1 below its volatility line at 1.0, so it's right around 0 for the last 8 days. Same thing with the ATR2, maybe even a little longer. It's in the green zone below its volatility line at 50. 38.30 pointed up. It's looking good. PPO Extreme is 2.25% above zero, so it still has to head for that 2.99% level. Break through that, it's got a significant gap between the next level, 4.50. Break down, and there's that PPO level 6, 1.67, and that downtrend line. 1.55 and the New York traditional McClellan breath oscillator to get back to zero would require 2,253 decliners over advancers to get back to zero. Have a great day.